page 66, Radio Communication Failure. Should a pilot experience a radio failure while training in the circuit at a controlled or uncontrolled airfield, they will proceed to make a blind broadcast similar to the one that follows. Traffic at the Riversdale circuit. Alpha Bravo Charlie, possible radio failure. Left downwind, runway 06, 1,500 feet. Positioning for a full stop. Any traffic on frequency, please respond or relay. The reason why you should make such a broadcast is that there is a possibility that it is only your radio's receiver that is faulty while your transmitter is fully serviceable, in which case other traffic in your area would be able to relay your broadcast message to notify each other or ATC of your intended actions for planning purposes, depending on which airspace you are flying in at the time. If in controlled airspace, ATC would select the emergency alarm to alert the fire crew and get them into their standby positions as quickly as possible to assist as necessary. The pilot would then continue to make similar blind broadcasts on base leg, final approach, and again once they have safely vacated the runway. At a controlled airfield, time and situation permitting, a fire vehicle would approach your aircraft once you have safely vacated the runway to ascertain the actual problem being experienced in order to relay this information to ATC. The fire truck could also serve as the follow-me vehicle in this instance to ensure that you taxi back to the apron or hangars following the safest possible route as instructed by ATC. This also assists pilots when taxiing at an airfield whose layout they may not be entirely familiar with.